Welcome to our continuing virtual voices webinars. First, I would like to thank you for your comments and your letters. We like to read them and respond to you whenever possible. Uh, today, our speaker is Mr. Mikola Volkivsky, who is uh, the president of the first International Development Fund of Ukraine, which is supported by the Republic of Poland. Formerly, he worked with the President Bronisław Komorowski, the President of Poland. He is also the Chairman of the Berkhovna Rada, which is the main parliament in Ukraine Committee on Self-Government of Ukraine. Um, Mr. Berkowski, over to you. Oh, thank you. For me, it's great honor to invite me to this historical day of presidential inauguration of President of USA. I would like to say thank you for inviting me. <clears throat> My name is Mykola Volkiewski. I, as you, as you said, I'm the president of First International Development Foundation of Ukraine, which is based in Republic of Poland. Today, I would like to say, uh, I would like to talk about the projects, what uh, will in environmental project based in Ukraine and in Poland. Uh, maybe I had the previous experience when I re write my uh, PhD work because uh, it's like bilateral relations between Ukraine and Poland. For me, it's important, you know, to to see what is going on uh, before the independence of Ukraine, 1991. What's going on with our uh, bilateral relations between our two countries? And I'm really happy to be there and uh, to start my speech. Uh, the importance of development and further uh, quality of strange and bilateral Polish-Ukrainian relations is guarantee of stability and mutual potential growth of state and politic uh, way, environmental, diplomatic, economic, culture, and other dimensions. In general, the dynamics of the development of Polish-Ukrainian relations requires us to be in cooperation in these various fields. First of all, it's a history of our relations. What's going on exactly? This is the risk of the approaches of both states to the resonant movements and uh, phenomena that uh, have taken place in the past of Polish-Ukrainian confrontation. But this is also uh, excessively politicized rhetoric and historical heritage. You know, uh, what's maybe uh, happened uh, after the government is changed in, our, in, Pol in Poland, maybe in even Ukraine. But the one, the history of relations between the two countries is an issue that can divide the people of both countries, the head up and activity of the, in Ukraine and Poland. The pol politicians of both countries need to act according to the formula. Past is in the past, it's a history. And we shape the history today uh, and for the future. It is necessary to get rid of the ideological subjects in the publications of various books, making films, it's necessary to create the platform with scientists, uh, eyewitnesses and representatives of civil society will have the say. A wide network of palaces, fortress, religion buildings, places, a glory of both nations. A successful policy of national memory can be powerful factor in consolidating people in the face to regional and global treats. But secondly, the Polish and Ukrainian state border and labor migration, it's, it's, it's also the big problem. The infrastructure of our uh, borders, as uh, both sides, does not meet the European standards. It does not meet the modern features of its crossing. It's why we propose, you know, to rebuild those uh, these borders, and we propose from our foundation to write the letters from both sides of Ministry of Foreign Affairs in Ukraine and even in Poland, you know, to rebuild to to make this. Uh, borders uh, much more a European standard. It's uh, when last time the president of Republic of Poland, say, he visited Ukraine uh, last October, we said about those projects and maybe next year we can do something and we can rebuild and we can, you know, to make this European level of of this uh, uh, board, uh, border, but uh, due to spread the COVID-19 virus crossing, the border has become more difficult. When not qualified, imagine medical services, what we see since uh, March uh, and April 2020, and borders can uh, accurately detect the presence absence of the virus in humans and thermal screening is not accurate method of diagnostic the COVID. 
crossing the border of people from Ukraine and Poland, it's a different, uh, uh, they provoke a different reaction from Polish citizens. A negative reaction arrived even uh, uh, illegitimate the Ukrainian, especially who phoned to criminal and entered the Poland. The fight against the, uh, the solutions to the problem at the border, first of all, to finance the modernization of infrastructure, what I say. And equally important to cooperate in the custom and tax policies of the state, joint uh, counteraction and organized uh, uh, against uh, crime, smuggling, financial fraud, and legal action to harm the economic security and international prestige of both states. Third, it's uh, environmental issues. The environmental problems incurred in Poland and Ukraine are clearly visible, the solutions of which are among the priority among the other. Do is uh, both to the need to pursue the policy that does not create uh, additional uh, burdens, healthcare, social sphere, and to follow the letter to climate agreements. Both countries have the same uh, industrial and some even have uh, one owner. For example, uh, we, we have the one factory, uh, which uh, you know, based on products of uh, metal, it's called ArcelorMittal. We have this uh, factory which make uh, a lot of uh, problems of re for Ukrainian ecology in the region of uh, Dnipropetrovska Oblast. In the same factory, we have the, uh, uh, in the Poland, the Republic of Poland. When I talk with some of activists from uh, environmental activists and ecology activists, but it's a, uh, it's a, in a shock, but uh, the ArcelorMittal, uh, which situated in the uh, European Union, have the same problem which ArcelorMittal, uh, which situated in uh, Ukraine. But what is the problem uh, there? I don't want to talk about the how it's the system of this region may be corrupt and how are those uh, representatives of this factory pay the payments for the Ukrainian judges. But it's problem, as you see, as you observe, what is the current situation in Krivirik? But uh, Krivirik is the city of uh, home city of our uh, Ukrainian president, Mr. Zelensky. And he said, what Mr. Zelensky said uh, after he visited the uh, Krivirik city, he uh, explained and tried to, you know, to to make the new um, uh, national uh, ecology. Uh, uh, co committee uh, to change from Kiev and after to, to make this uh, national Ag ecological agency in Krivirik because for his region it's a worst uh, maybe city for living uh, well, because of the risk of uh, to because a lot of the people from those region are die because of cancer and <clears throat> another uh, another uh, problems it's why uh, what I say. Okay, uh, next, next. what I want to say is uh, the investment climate in the, our both countries. Taking into account economic advantages in rational use of logistic, recreational, scientific and technical labor, agriculture, business and other researches is a basis for developing a mutual beneficial strategy of economic progress, which will include a successful personal policy, foreign and domestic investment, attracting labor, infrastructure reconstruction, modernization of product capacity, financial acceleration, and overall systemic momentum in the formation of favorable market condition. Both nations are interested and will be benefit from expansion of cooperation in the field of aircraft construction, mechanical engineering, uh, design, technical modern modernization, metallurgy, energy, equipment, shipping, and large-scale energy transit. What's the last, what we do bef before uh, our uh, two countries, when uh, during last official visit of President uh, Duda to Ukraine, in a mist in Odessa city, it was sig uh, signature, uh, uh, the documents between two harbor, between Gdansk and Odessa, to move the infrastructure, uh, some ships from uh, one, hub, one hub of Gdansk to Odessa. It was the one way uh, what happened after the signature of this agreement. Uh, as we talk with uh, Mr. Uh, Andrzej Adamczyk, he's Minister of Infrastructure, 
during his uh, visit in Ukraine with Mr. Radislav Krikli, he's also the Minister of uh, Infrastructure of Ukraine. Maybe the, our cooperation in um, infrastructure will be developed because he's, uh, in, uh, the Poland is interesting, you know, to involve uh, in Ukraine in project what help uh, Via Carpathia. Maybe you heard it is uh, the way from uh, from the part of uh, Klaipeda, it's a harbor in uh, uh, Latvia to, to Turkey, so across whole of uh, Europe. It's also interesting project because if uh, Ukraine uh, uh, um, the uh, Ukraine uh, they make this agreement and Ukrainian government and parliament will signature this agreement. The, the part of this uh, way uh, will be across the, our country. One of the part of Ukrainian politicians, he accepts this, uh, this project via Karpatia, but second part, it's not. Okay, uh, after that, I would like to say what exactly happened after the, we had the same problem, maybe our two countries, I mean, I mentioned Ukraine, and Poland, the same problem because we had the previous history. Okay, it was not. I, I don't want to talk about the common, uh, well, common, pro, common problems of the our history, but the uh, maybe after uh, the fir first uh, cadency of uh, Mr. President Duda after 2015, we tried to to do some trans border projects. Uh, it's including the river, it's including the, these projects, it's including the, the our harbor and everything. Maybe I will mention uh, some of the program, uh, main uh, tasks, the projects, which started from 1997. This one of the trans, uh, trans-border project, uh, the first one is we call Clean Book Program. Book is the river of, in, which is situated in Ukraine. Uh, what is the main task is it was is of this uh, program, which is the solving current problems of protection and restoration of Book River, conducting environmental monitoring, and uh, construction and reconstruction of waste water treatment plants, which are remain sources in pollution of the River Book. It was of the one of the first program which officially, uh, you know, started. To, to do the new history of our environmental projects between our two countries. In particular, uh, it is a design to solve the pressing problems of protection and res restoration of this river, which flows through the territory of three uh, neighbor, neighboring states. I mean, like uh, it's Ukraine, Poland, and I, I forgot, but it's also uh, Belarus, Republic of Belarus, yeah. Within the framework, ecological monitoring, construction and reconstruction of wastewater treatment plants. Uh, the government, uh, because it was a time of the presidential cadency of our uh, president, uh, second president of Ukraine, Mr. Leonid Kuchma, he, they uh, approved, they adopted this program in, uh, after 1997. This program uh, was particularly step by step solving. Second program, what I want to say, maybe some of us don't, don't know, I don't hear about those three projects, is transboundary monitoring water quality assessment of the Ush River, which is situated in the maybe in the center of Ukraine, in the Tomi region, Latorica and Western Book Rivers. It's a problem from 1998. Uh, it's a project from 1998. The creation of database, municipal treatment plants, volumes of water, this charger into water bodies, the technical characteristics as well as information of industrial, agriculture, and administrative object for water use, installation of equipment, field and laboratory equipment, conducting joint field research with colleagues from neighboring countries. Uh, what I observe of my uh, science for during my PhD, between 1990 and 2002, uh, we don't have any of the projects, what environmental projects between our two countries. Why it's happened? Maybe because the current government and from 1998 to 2002, maybe they was more uh, concentrate to cooperate with our countries. 
But after 1st May of 2004, after the Athens Agreement, the Poland uh, started to be the new member of European Union. It's uh, for me, it's a new way. It's a started new way of our cooperation. Poland before European Union, since 1991, 2004, May, 1st May 2004, nowadays the second part of our cooperation. Maybe uh, because uh, during my PhD, uh, I um, uh, make the, my personal offer uh, chronological of our bilateral relations. Uh, because I graduated from Warsaw University and I'm doing my master, you know, since those time I, you know, did a lot of, a lot of uh, my uh, articles between our, uh, between the history of our, bilateral history of our two countries. And now I'm head, I'm the, in maybe this year, it's, uh, everyone can hear me? Uh, good? Yes. Oh, yeah, we, thank you. We hear you clearly. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. And I would like to say in this March 2021, it will be my monography, first monography about the problems of uh, bilateral relations between Ukraine and Poland. And uh, uh, in, my, in, my, this, um, uh, in my book, in uh, the part chapter number three, it will be the, the our in, uh, environmental projects between our two countries. Okay, I would like to say the one of the projects what promoting the policy of sustainable development and environmental protection in the context of cross-border cooperation between Ukraine and Poland, he called INACT. It started from 2002, and this is one of the main tasks of those projects. It was development of, and of a coordinated policy of regional environmental protection. Second is what development of joint action plan to monitor the ecological status of the Bug River Basin uh, and improving the quality of drinking water supply to consumers, creating a map of the environment. Yeah, maybe it's a first, it was the first map uh, of the environmental projects of trans, uh, trans, -border, uh, trans border cooperation. This project called Joint River Basin Management, Pripyat River Basin Management. Also, why Pripyat? As uh, your organization, World Information Transfer, since uh, uh, which based from uh, history from 1987, after the Chernobyl tragedy, Chernobyl disease. It's why those projects touched with, uh, even because of the river, Pripyat is the main river of the Chernobyl uh, region. It was uh, the main uh, problem, you know, how to solve it because uh, the part of this river was absolutely not, uh, I don't know how to, non-usable for the people. Okay. And I'm really, you know, too, too proud. I would like to say maybe a few, few additional words because I have uh, my uh, members of my uh, foundation, one of the members of the my Mao foundation is uh, she is uh, Miss Katrina Pavlova. She's a former chief of state uh, agency uh, of uh, this uh, uh, Chernobyl territory. And it's we we together we tried you know to make the to to make the program to to make the environmental program together. It uh, for me it's absolutely you know too good to have the experience from the one of the people who really engage to you know to in, in Ukraine like the government in the Ukraine in the US policy and Ukrainian in Ukrainian policy okay it is the it is the enact plan a project which was in 2002 what's happened next next it's the project what is called joint management of river basins pool management prepared river what i want to say the uh, introducing of European norms and rules to the develop and implementation of the program of trans bordering monitoring of water quality of the ecosystem of the Pripyat River Basin, exchange of information, supply of equipment and improvement. The um, project creating a cross border strategies for fluid prevention of the Western Book River Basin. It's the next project. It's the first project uh, since uh, Poland, the Poland uh, uh, European Union member, yeah. Establishment of the organization management structure of the Western Book Basin of Regional Water Management 
department. Okay, the next uh, the, of this project, what really developed, well, maybe you would really, uh, you know, have a positive, positive uh, ch changes. It's uh, called uh, Western Book, uh, Latoritz and Ushrida Basin Management Project. This project from 2006, uh, assisting relevant institution in the transition of the, to the balanced use of available water resources and more uh, efficient basin management in accordance with the requirements of the water code of Ukraine. Yeah, en uh, ensuring the coherence of basin water resources management scheme applied in Ukraine and neighborhood countries. I mean, uh, Czech Republic, uh, Pol uh, Belarus, uh, Hungary in the next, uh, you know, uh, neighborhood countries. Uh, next project uh, uh, to, from 2006, uh, 2007 at the phase, uh, uh, you know, the phase two to pro to program of Pripyat River, which started from 2002, uh, river basin management is harmonization of coordinated management of international river basin through the introduction of European norms and rules, and also creation of a new website for collection and disseminating information on various aspects of the Pripyat Basin Management Plan required by European Union Water Framework Directive and one of the project activities and achievement. Okay. Oh, and could, after... could you explain uh, this project to a little more? I didn't quite understand. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, I want to explain you now what exactly happened because uh, in uh, 2007, we tried to, to, to do something from uh, in we or create the uh, official website and monitoring official mi mission from because in you in make the European Union uh, water framework directive and signature because to you know to to finalizing this project by your you know highest European Union level because after that uh, as I mentioned uh, the part two started after the Poland. Uh, since uh, stands to be a member of European Union, but European Union standard because of the two rivers, it's much more high uh, held before when before Poland not be the member of European Union. It's why we do this informational aspect in new in create new website. How can you monitoring what's exactly happened with Pripyat River because of a lot of people. Uh, really care after Chernobyl nuclear 1986 strategy what exactly happened because it's a river well uh, you know well uh, the, the main and the middle of uh, this disease yeah in uh, after program it, it started a new decade of uh, our inner environmental programs in next uh, project he, it's called the uh, ecology 2010 Reconstruction and the construction of uh, sewerage networks, treatment facilities, construction of modern landfills for solid waste storage in the rational use and protection of subsoil. Subsoil, sorry. Uh, this is, uh, you know, this project based maybe, um, I remember because uh, it was maybe the last year of uh, when uh, the Ukrainian president was Viktor Yushchenko. He was with official visit uh, uh, in Warsaw. In they make the agreement we call it the Ecology 2010. It uh, you know uh, since like 11 years ago it started, but now the the this program continually. Uh, but uh, if I'm not wrong, they call it now Ecology 2020 or something like that, which is exactly based on the problems. To have to solve the problems of the of our transport uh, and the water resources till now. And next uh, next biosphere reserve uh, West, Western Polisia. It's one of the region of Ukraine. E, the next project. What I want to mention the project to create transboundary biosphere reserve Western Polisia. E, if I'm not wrong, it started from 2010. The Ukrainian governments uh, in Ukrainian parliament they vote to to start this really new project in the joining efforts to protect wildlife because in Ukraine if you, if you know in the western uh, part of Ukraine 
it's, it's situated uh, the part of uh, uh, Pusha because we but this uh, wildlife uh, is situated in uh, in Belarus but uh, most part in in Bolin region in uh, near Lutsk in, uh, in western part of Ukraine. But what is the main the task of Western policy uh, called the joint efforts to protect wildlife, uh, conservation of the rare wetland ecosystem and water resources of, of the policy region, improving the management of natural areas, development of new joint scientific programs, to harmonize the coordinating management of international river basins through the introduction of European norms and rules uh, for the development and implementation of transboundary water quality monitoring program for the ecosystem of the uh, Western Polisia pre Petrila basin in informational exchange. Uh, uh, let me interrupt you for a second. Yeah, uh, on those um, projects, uh, actually, we also have a question pertaining it. You did not mention anything about uh, um, destruction of the Carpathian Mountains. And actually, we have a question here from Lesha Havreluk. Mm -hmm. um, uh, thank you for the webinar. My question, forests continue to be cut down in Ukraine. So uh, that's a question that uh, came from uh, Ukraine. And I, can you also include that in that project of 2010, mm -hmm. which basically um, I personally witnessed the continual cutting of the Carpathian Mountains as I was tra traveling from Hungary to uh, Lviv. Mm -hmm. so I saw it. So maybe you can um, uh, focus a little bit on that. Yes, uh, thank you. Thank you for your question, uh, uh, Miss Les, and thank you for your question, Dr. Dubak. I, I, will, yeah, I would like to answer your question. Yeah, it's one of the uh, Carpathian, as you mentioned, the Carpathian problem and Carpathian environmental project. It is uh, important for us because the, the Carpathian mountains situated between uh, the country of uh, part in uh, Hungary, part in uh, Slovakia, if I'm not wrong, the part in uh, Poland. Uh, it's Beszade, the near the Podkarpatskie Województwo, it's uh, the, the way from Lviv to Zeshuv. Uh, it's why, because even the, our uh, most uh, powerful the conference between our two countries, you said uh, organized from Podkarpatskie Pod Voyevustva and organized from the govern, government, uh, government from, this, uh, from this region. Yeah, it is so important. But uh, when I talk with uh, Minister of Infrastructure, Andrzej Adamczyk, uh, last October, if I'm not wrong, we mentioned how we can solve, how, what we can do, you know, uh, one of the question, it was uh, because one of the project called M09, this is the way, uh, the highway from Lviv, uh, if I'm not wrong, to the connect Lviv, to Zeshuv, no, maybe not to Zeshuv, maybe to Helm. Yeah, the part, uh, he said it, we, we tried, you know, to, to have a budget next year, you know, to, to make this highway to connect to our two countries, to, to be the connect from Krakow, because one of these new roads, which uh, started from Krakow to, to Helm exactly, it is highway from Helm to, to Lviv, we don't have especially a good, you know, good highway to connect our two cities. But uh, Carpathian, Carpathian uh, program in Carpathian, you know, uh, will, will, for me, for myself, uh, in my, my personal view, can be developed uh, next few years. It, what is uh, sometimes uh, mentioned, the President Duda, what is uh, during last uh, official visit mentioned, uh, uh, Mr. Zelensky, but I'm really uh, happy if it, it will be, uh, you know, continue all of, all of these projects, but I'm really, I don't know, but I'm really happy within Podkarpatskie Voyevustvo, it's called Carpathian, it's uh, every year, every January, it's uh, happened the Polish-Ukrainian conference between our two countries, a lot of uh, governance comes, uh, you know, and one of the, uh, one of the, uh, 
last uh, official uh, official task and official news will be how to solve and how to develop her patient her patient projects. But I'm happy that Ukraine sometimes mentioned this project. It's so good, you know, to our for our environment. Yeah, you know, maybe first advice what I want to mention when I be the witness of uh, when it was 2015, for example. Um, we talk a lot of with uh, former president of Republic of Poland, uh, Mr. Bronislaw Komorowski. Yeah, I worked with with his team, uh, uh, not engaged like in politics, but I tried to, you know, to to help the po the Polish people. I was like, because I'm studied to study in the Polish university because I win the grant from uh, Warsaw National University. I won, maybe I write the my. Uh, my motivation letter and I started to be the, the member of a student of uh, Water Uni uh, Warsaw University and talk I'm talk a lot of uh, with uh, Polish president. You once when we was in traffic jam, uh, we traveled by bus with Polish president in Warsaw. He show uh, you know strictly I don't know what what exactly happened. But I thought the that the plane was shut down. We know that it happened in Russia. So, yes, and Polish President Komorowski just uh, yes. uh, tried to go for a walk and knocking on the on the transport cars in traffic jam. And one of the uh, car drivers was absolutely, you know, the not in, in good in good mood. He say, "What exactly happened? Who's knocking on my window?" And turn left and see the Polish president walking in, in a tree, his traffic and say, but in this yeah. time he talks by his phone, he say, uh, Poczeka, like, uh, wait, wait a second, Kakani. I am in traffic jam and I here in the left side, I, I see my president, he's knocking on my window. He put in a dobry, pani president. She say, No, you're kidding me, you don't talk, you don't see the pre any president now. I say, and, and President Komorowski uh, take his phone and say, Dzień dobry, pani, to jest prezydent Polski. I, when you mention this situation, you know, how, how we can, you know, to develop, how we can, you know, to, it's like uh, one example, how it's connected by the government, by the president with the people. He don't care, you know, to be, uh, to, to go by for a walk during the traffic. Yeah. He was uh, he was a very very nice man. I nice. Know. I remember when we traveled with him with his team in the uh, underground in metro. Mm -hmm. But he, he sometimes he tried to be you know uh, together with uh, with the people. It's why it's shocked me. I don't know. I don't want to mention that the Ukrainian president can uh, can uh, go on you know by bike. If you if you remember the 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 movie, okay, yes. But uh, sometimes I'm really happy that uh, one of what happened in this country is that the government and the people and citizens much more connected between each other. It's good. Uh, we yeah. have another question, and this one is from Julia Daniluk. Uh, Miss, uh, how safe is the project on the Pripyat River? for the ecosystem and the people. Are there any restrictions on the project? And I remember uh, when I first came back to Ukraine and that was in 1991, we talked about, there was a whole discussion about the severe pollution of the Pripyat and the fact that it was the drinking water for Kyiv. So this question is really a very relevant question if, since it does not seem that it was completely resolved. Yeah. Oh, okay. Thank you for your question. I, I would like to, you know, to back to the history, to the strategy of Ukraine to April 1986. Uh, I would like to say that the piece of my family, even my grandfather and my father, uh, my father, since uh, during those times, he was a student of medical university. He was one of the uh, who really in April was in the center of the, this strategy in Chernobyl. He, even my grandfather, he was, uh, he worked because I was born in Korostin. Korostin now situated in zone of Chernobyl strategy, zone number three, if I'm not wrong. The Ukrainian 
the you know the, the Ukrainian children from our city can uh, you know they can have some uh, privileges I don't know from the country they don't pay to food in Ukrainian schools uh, maybe the uh, we situated maybe 120 or something kilometers from the Chernobyl, our city. It's in it's in the uh, Korostein. It's in Zhitomir region. And oh, Zhitomir. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When I mentioned my grand, my grandfather uh, was uh, one of the first who came uh, to you know like the police. He worked in uh, like policeman to Chernobyl. After a few years of after Chernobyl. Tragedy. He died because of the uh, problems of his yeah of his health. Uh, we and one of the main uh, task what he asked is you can be fail, fail fired because if you say someone uh, you will try to say someone uh, what has happened exactly in Chernobyl. My uh, my uh, older sister she's uh, born in 1982, but in the, she remember what exactly happened the pirate in first of May. So all of the people came, you know, to to rest uh, to the Pripyat River for the first, second, and third of the May. During it was uh, crucial, and you know, it's uh, the biggest mistake of uh, for uh, Soviet uh, during the Soviet Union. But what exactly? I'm really proud because of uh, if we will, uh, you know, solve all of this problem with uh, uh, in Chernobyl region, even Pripyat River. It's so important. As I mentioned, this project started maybe before because your organization, uh, you know, we make history from 1987 because of the Chernobyl tragedy. I'm really happy that the uh, whole of the world uh, helped us after the Chernobyl tragedy. Yeah, uh, I remember when I talk uh, last, when I talk last uh, September 2019. Uh, during uh, Yalta European Conference in uh, Kiev, uh, Mistetsky Arsenal, I talk with I do, if I uh, if I'm not wrong, I don't even remember what is his name with uh, Mazin, Craig Mazin or something. He's a uh, pro, pro, was the producer of Chernobyl film from HBO, and we talk yeah. a lot. He, and I said it to him the big thank you because uh, the pro, because after 2019 since May. Uh, the most people uh, was, you know, uh, interested what exactly happened with Chernobyl and maybe uh, what's the you know, biggest uh, and maybe most the organization really cared about what exactly happened. Maybe I don't, I don't want to say it about the tourists who try to, you know, to see what exactly happened with uh, in Chernobyl, but there are a lot of organizations after that mostly help us with, uh, with this problem. As I mentioned, the it was, but uh, of course, it's a lot of problems in this territory. I don't want to say about a lot of uh, fire, uh, fire. What happened in the the forest uh, in March and April 2020? It was horrible because uh, since at this time I was in the uh, USA and I remember from a, break, a lot of breaking news was about what it about the forest uh, about the fire in the uh, forest in uh, Chernobyl. Chernobyl region, but I want to mention that it's Miss Pavlova. She was uh, the, since time the chief of this territory. She was one of the first uh, uh, director of uh, Chernobyl uh, zone who really helped people. I remember when uh, this time when for Miss Pavlova, a lot of people from Vasilkiv city uh, call you. Can you help us with water? The lot of firemen. Yes. They help not like a, like a uh, representative of government of governmental organization. She helped by his own uh, with water with everything. She was one of the first uh, our director who uh, who be in, on the epicenter of uh, the problem. Yeah, but uh, Chernobyl every time for uh, for me it's uh, like a heart attack because of my uh, one of the part of my siblings was engaged in one uh, really help with people after that. But Chernobyl is our story, but uh, we we can we need to do with this story. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, okay. Well, uh, the second film, the current film, the HBO put on Chernobyl is really quite good. 
Yeah. Uh, so I think people that are interested in the history should definitely watch it. There's a couple more realistic films that have been developed. Yeah. Uh, could you uh, talk a little bit more about a couple of things? Uh, you talked about the border concerns with Poland and Hungary. Uh, could you uh, extrapolate a little bit more on that? Uh, you mean the what exactly the border between uh, the Hungary and uh, Poland? Yeah, uh, Hungary, Ukraine, and Poland. Because you know. Okay. Uh, if I if I will mention the Hungary or this region, what we call Zakarpatia. Yeah. Yeah. It's a lot of the people of uh, in this region. Fortunately or unfortunately, I don't know for them, but a lot of these people. Oof, I don't want to talk about. Okay, they they mentioned uh, they own like uh, not. They say I ask sometimes what is situated Ushgorod in Zakarpati. They say no Ushgorod, Ungvar. Uh, what about the Berigo, Berikshash, or what about the Hungary? Not Mojor or Sag. It's a lot of uh, because it's 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 not a secret but but the, a lot of uh, in you in, in ukrainians who live in zakarpatia they have a uh, second citizenship yeah second passport of hungarian because of the hungary really support uh, the hungarians who live in ukraine it's even i remember a few i remember few tv uh, some uh, interviews so from the ukrainian you that the Ukrainian journalists try to, you know, to move for a small village, uh, which is uh, near the Hungarian border. If they try to ask someone in Ukrainian and Russian, but they cannot understand. They speak just uh, it's Hungarian language. It's why the policy between Mr. Uh, Orban, Viktor Orban in uh, the, our current government, it's, uh, if you remember, it was a, a lot of problems between the cultural and even last situation what happened with uh, after the new uh, new uh, uh, government in small city elected but even the governance from uh, this uh, small small uh, village for example they tried it to you know to official with not the ukrainian but with hungarian ethan it's not good. i don't know if it's a story for our uh, Ukrainian uh, services, but uh, it's a make it's a part of history. But we have this problem. I, I don't know how to solve how to solve the our environmental projects between our two countries. But we say we know the yes, Visegrad uh, the two quarter of Visegrad two countries with the, in Poland and uh, Slovakia. Uh, Hungary and Czech Republic, they make a lot of programs, which is exactly the Ukraine is uh, the member of uh, uh, of these programs. But the current current situation is like this: the the current 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 government of Hungarian Republic, they not totally support with the Ukrainian bilateral political way. It's, I'm not wrong because I'm a little bit upset what is going on with with this cover government. Maybe they tried, you know, to to stabilize the situation with our uh, not neighbor, but neighbor, but not good friend with our country. I don't want to mention which one. But uh, what about the environmental project? I'm not. Uh, if I if you mentioned the chop, it's uh, the yes. city. In near Zahon, near the uh, west southern city in Ukraine, or something. Chop was the route from the uh, trains from Lviv to uh, Hungary. Yeah, the, it's the uh, second... one of the main uh, highway called Kiev Chop. Yes. This yes. is, uh, you know, the Kiev last Chop. city yeah. from the border in the next city in the other border, it's called Zahon. I remember. Yeah because of a lot of uh, after uh, Soviet Union, the, our, all of the our military and soldiers back from the German, Germany, the uh, Republic uh, from, this, uh, from this border. But uh, uh, actually 
this uh, part of the road, uh, infrastructure road from the CHAP to uh, Lviv or to Kiev, this part between CHOP and Lviv not good for, for using because of the mountains, sometimes it's not in good uh, current uh, situation, it's why. Uh, maybe it will be the good uh, planning of strategy to modernize this highway Kiev chop from yeah. not from part from Lviv to chop yeah. because after Lviv it's uh, it will be the next uh, I don't even remember from Svala. no from this part uh, the, the the road from Lviv to chop is not very good not so. very good yeah. uh, it's not very straight because it's a lot yeah. of sir yeah. Right. yeah that's why yeah now can you uh, Talk a little bit more about the Odessa and Dunks uh, agreement with La uh, Latvia about the Dunks. Okay, the Dunsk Harbor. Uh, yeah. Why we interested, you know, we to cooperate, you know, to we was interested to make this uh, signature agreement between two harbors. The Gdansk it's good road because of this situated in the Balkan uh, Sea. It's uh, you know too good. You know to send uh, from the ship uh, ship trading uh, from the uh, from China to from other countries. We interested, you know, to also to make the the um, infrastructurally uh, a railway road from uh, current to cities in Odessa. We was absolutely uh, agreed that uh, Mr. Uh, Vladislav Krikli, the Minister of Infrastructure, and Mr. Adamchik, they totally accept. This project uh, to uh, change um, and to to send their, our ships and our uh, uh, wages, uh, uh, containers from uh, between our two harbors. Gdansk situated in Pomorskie Voyevodstvo is good, uh, you know, sit good situated like the uh, from geographically and economically. Economically, it's why we are was interested. But what about if I if I will mention this project what called Via Carpatia, Via Carpatia, which officially started from Klaipeda, if I'm not wrong, it's a city of Latvia, yeah, or Latvia, Latvia, yeah. Mm -hmm. This road started from Klaipeda and moved across a lot of countries. Even this Polish government, they interested that Ukraine they make the signature and proof. To, to make this uh, way across a piece of across the Ukraine. If we will, uh, uh, the our uh, parliament will vote to accept this program via Carpatia will be, you know, uh, in, you know, mentioned from the uh, across the piece of Ukraine. After it will be the Hungary, Romania, and down to Greece, to, to Turkey. Yeah. It's an interesting project because via Carpatia, uh, maybe about 17% of this way it's uh, told, uh, since now they done. The, they on the Finnish high, li high line, maybe if we'll do, if Ukrainian parliament will approve and accept that maybe this, this infrastructure project will, will be done in the nearest future. But maybe I, I'm mostly interested in uh, to develop the project M09. If I'm not wrong, it's a way uh, highway uh, from Lviv uh, after uh, to Kiev uh, from uh, from the Pali uh, from uh, Dresden to Vodslav uh, to Katowice from Katowice to to Krakow uh, and uh, Rzeszów, um, uh, Krakow, uh, Tarnów, Rzeszów, Helm. After Przemysl, or not have no sorry, not Helm, Przemysl, I'm sorry, Przemysl, uh, from the Shehini Medica border, enough to, to connect with Lviv because it's a part of from Shehini Medica to Lviv, it's not good to use it like the highway. It's why the Ukrainians and the, the ministers of Ukraine negotiate about how to solve the next future this project M09. It is so interesting for, for us. Or actually to to make in the near future it's what is the project what should be done yeah thank you okay. the the other question that i have here is uh, can you suggest any solution to the problems in order to expedite the mutual assistance between ukraine and poland and other countries you mean uh, what 
what should be done uh, between our countries, you know, to, to make to, the... To right, to expedite cooperation. Okay. Uh, I remember when these Ukrainian books, I don't know how it's called, it, it was the, some of the points, what the Ukrainians or what the foreign, uh, the experts of foreign policy, uh, which kind of points they put, uh, for example, what do you think about uh, which kind of point from one to 10 the, their experts put to for the cooperation between uh, Ukraine and uh, Poland? The mm -hmm. experts said the maximum from 10, we are now to develop for five. Why? Because, no, maybe not five, because geopolitically, maybe okay, to seven. Because uh, our bilateral relations between two countries is one of most important. The five, five points they put to Hungarian-Ukrainian relations. Now, <coughs> about eight, put, uh, they put eight points from Ukraine to US elections. I, I remember, if I'm not wrong, the highest position, highest uh, points will be put in uh, between relations, uh, highest position in Lithuania during Lithuania during the uh, government of Dalia Gribauskaite. But what about the current situation between Ukraine and Latin America? If I'm not wrong, I don't remember when last time the Ukrainian president visited uh, this region. It's why this was put in the just one. It, it was uh, maybe during uh, the Yanukovych uh, government in Brazil or something like that. What about the Ukrainian and maybe we don't we don't make the good uh, connection with Africa region also. I don't remember when last time the Ukrainian president uh, you know visit or the African some of the African countries visit Ukraine. Of, co of course we can you know concentrate to our uh, most uh, nece necessary uh, bilateral relations with but uh, I, for my personal view it will be the good. It's the problem of Ukraine uh, nowadays. Why we don't have uh, such a good academy for Ukrainian to, you know, to uh, to study for Ukrainian diplomats? The our internet inter institute of our international relations. It's one of them. But why the uh, academy of diplomatic academy was cancelled to in 2017? For what? We don't need the Ukrainian diplomats, or we don't need to to, to good. Uh, representative of uh, of Ukraine in other countries, uh, it's it's not good. But because if a lot of the Ukrainian, we don't have maybe for a long time a lot of Ukrainian ambassadors to our to a lot of countries, because just charge de fer or something like that. We don't have a especially good. Now, okay, it's good, but it's better that you the nine cadency of Ukrainian parliament in member of the parliament say no new english little bit more than former government but if you for example mention the cadency during the yanukovych time if we try to i don't know i remember the this a lot of uh, about 15 percent of ukrainian mps they speak uh, english since uh, second cadency uh, election of ukrainian in from 2000 to 12 to 2015 is not good. Okay, now it's uh, we develop the Ukrainian country. We de develop. I'm little bit. I, I'm proud, hundred percent proud. But if if Ukrainians, for example, in the in in our country, okay, if we Ukrainians and we represent our country, for example, in European Union. We don't want to, you know, to say about what you're not good, but because you're representative of this political party. It is one of its solidarity. If you're Ukrain Ukrainians in modern world, in uh, in foreign policy, you can shake a hand because you're you're the representatives of the country on the highest level. I really want that Ukrainian uh, foreign policy. I want to develop, I want to do something good, you know, to, to change maybe some prejudice about the Ukrainians or about the Ukrainian citizens. But we, 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 maybe we're going to do something good. Maybe sometimes, uh, I don't want to mention, but uh, 
I am of the author of two books of uh, poems. I'm a little bit a uh, poet sometimes. It's why I don't know how, how to be at the same time the diplomat and poet, but uh, I tried. It's pretty good. What about? Uh, I remember when I finished my first marathon in uh, in some of country. I I will I would like to be not uh, like the some of the politician who who do need to do something good for your country. I really want to change something. It's why I organize this my uh, foundation to help the people to promote the Ukraine and European Union in the whole world. It's why I decided to, you know, to, to make my headquarter not in Ukraine. Because if you say, if you have your organization in Ukraine, it's you will be corrupt. And if you, if you want to, you know, to do some, some project, it's not be done because of the, sorry, but the level of corruption that country. But I'm really sure that we can change everything. I am really have, have honor to, you know, to see the historical day from for United States of America for presidential uh, inauguration day. I'm really happy to, uh, you know, to be there and thank you to invite me to say my story, what's happened with my political, not political, okay, my career since I'm studied to be from 19 years old, the advisor to MP now and really want to change something in the world but in ukraine especially thank you so much thank you very very much for a very interesting uh, and broad spectrum presentation um we are very glad that you were able to be with us and we wish you the best in your endeavors to be able to make a ukraine a much more internationally oriented and to basically build back the diplomatic academies that used to be excellent in ukraine yeah. so uh have a very good week take good care of yourself and uh, to the rest of you thank you for participating and we shall see you next week at this time. Thank you so much. Thank you.